here to test the V1 in the electromagnetic environment. Uh, we're going to look at the ANALQ161 and its response to various signals uh, and, and see how it does against certain threats. So PFS 642 is the latest block cycle upgrade of the ANALQ161 RWR uh, on the B1. Uh, it is going to have expanded processing based on the previous uh, 630, PFS 635 upgrade and it's going to be more capable against modern threats. It allows our, our aircraft to see any, any threats on the ground or in the sky right, and make sure that we can see them, make sure we can uh, respond appropriately and that we can avoid threats where possible. So the BAF is uh, unique because it's uh, a test range that um, is different from being up in the air or being in the lab. It's right in the middle and you can test entire systems um, and simulate as if you're in flight test. RAM stands for uh, Radiation Absorbent Material and it absorbs uh, RF uh, energy and uh, minimizes the reflections in the chamber. It's very um, precise in how we lay down the RAM because that, of course, affects the range and our cleanliness. So the BAF pro uh, proposes several uh, benefits compared to flight tests. Uh, the first one is cost. Uh, it keeps us uh, down on what we can do so we can actually test more and look at more capabilities. And then the second one is a much cleaner RF environment. So we can look at the specific signals that we need to see and make sure that the B1 is acting exactly as we need it to.